Like when I first got saved, the aspect of waiting was literally yeah. the one area of my life that I told God, <laughs> I ain't gonna be listen, do it. Lord, yeah, I ain't gonna be you do know, that. you yeah. made me. I'm not a virgin. <laughs> There's no reason I should pretend to be a virgin. I really like sex. I'm just going to live in your grace. And <laughs> listen, and the thing is, is that I did. And, and over time, I'm just so, I'm so grateful for God's patience. Yes, he's Because a he was so patient with me in allowing me to suffer the consequences yes, of that of, mentality. Of, of, of choices. But also, like, just the patience of, like, exposure and time and letting me just figure out what was happening and why I was injuring myself. Because, mm. honestly, the last time I had sex, mm. It's not that it was a bad experience, and it's not that it, like, from an ego standpoint, I will say this. On paper, <laughs> I was like, this is a great thing. On paper, this yeah. is awesome. This person is hot. Yeah. They have a great body. They're yeah. super successful. Like, there were a lot of yeah. bragging rights yeah. in, like, you know, in that. But at the end of it, I was like, oh, but this feels really awful. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there's no commitment here. There's no oh, promise here. This person has not chosen to keep me, <clears throat> to cover me, to pray with me, to be there in sickness and in health for richer, for poorer, <sighs> for better, for worse. That has not ever come out of their mouth. Which means they haven't declared it. Which means for me to count on it or look for it is, is just an assumption and it's an assertion that they didn't ask for. Because they never promised that. And so now I'm driving myself crazy. But now I'm angry at them. That's what's happening. Do you know somebody's getting set free right now? I hope so.